Welcome to iTouch Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the combination of commands to create these objects on the screen. Here is a saucer and here is a teacup. Now, on this saucer, I used a combination of the offset command and the revolve command to create this saucer. Now the teacup, I used a combination of the circle command, the loft command, and the shell command to create that. Now on the cup handle, I used a combination of the ellipse command and the sweep command to create that. So here are the specifications for these very objects. Here is a graphic view of it. You can see that all I have here are straight lines and curves. But I'm going to show you how these curves were treated before I proceed further. Now I'm going to switch off these dimensions before I do that. So I come over to the layers panel, click on this arrow here, and switch off the dimensions. Okay, that is done. So, what I did here was draw a line, that is five, one, and two. Now again, I draw a line of fifteen, that's the point, that's the line of fifteen, fifteen, and connect here. Okay, I'm going to remove this. So, what I did here to generate the cup is use the fillet command. Click on the fillet and enter a radius of 15. And fillet like this. Also, use same 15. Radius of fillet and did that. So, this is how these costs were generated. And for this as well, here I used add command and using start and direction to do that. Start and direction. So, I clicked on this, click on this. And check the auto mode and choose a suitable of I want to do this. So those were how these two costs were generated. Now I'm going to switch to the asymmetric view to start producing the 3D models. So I click on this arrow and choose site is asymmetric. Okay, so first I'm going to work on this. Before then, I'm going to use the join commands to join all this. Okay, so now I have this one edit done. Right, so I'm not going to create the edits. Before I do that, I have to switch the ECS command to left. ECS commands, click on left. Alright, so I cannot create my ellipse on here and choose this at the manner as this. Okay, that is done. So now I'm going to use the sweep command to sweep this along the very path. So I click on this and choose sweep. Click on this very ellipse and click on this path. So that is done. So the next thing I'll do now is also create circles. Choose central radius. Okay. Click on this for the center. Okay, I have to check change the position of the ECS to top now. Okay. Here the circle, 
Je peux descendre ça. Je peux descendre ça pour venir. Je dois en dans ce que je veux. On doit le porte ce que je veux. Ok. Now it's time to use the lock command. So I click on this and choose lock. And lock this circle. This and this. Enter. And click on again. So the next thing I'll do is to shell. Use the shell command to shell this to a thickness of 4 mm. So I move to the solids toolbar and click on shell show this object now show the top and enter enter a thickness of four right click and enter and enter again so this is done okay so the next I will do now is to fillet the brim of the very cup so I move down to the modified panel and click on fillet then right click and choose the radius of 1.5 then reduce this click on this click on fillet again and reduce this That is done. Now I'm going to remove these lines and remove them. Okay. So the next thing I'll do now is to divide. The next I'll do now is to divide this very one into two. So I draw a vertical line from the very center upwards. Can erase half of it. Let's cut. Erase this. Okay. Now I'm going to revolve this very half of the middle of this 60. So I'm going to remove the panel. Click on this and choose revolve. Then revolve this. Enter. And choose here on the axis. And now enter an angle of 360 degrees. Okay, so that is done. Now I'll do the very line for the limit. Okay. Also raise this. Okay. So that is done. So I'm going to move this one now and place it right inside the sensor. So I click on move command. now. Click on this. Okay, before I do that, I also have to use the union command to unite this and this. So I click on union command and unite all I have here. Okay, so I now have one component. So I'm now going to move the cup and place it right inside. The saucer. So I'm going to clean on the 3D wire frame to locate the center. So I'm not going to move the cup. Pick it from the center right here and drop it at the center here. Okay. This now will not be necessary. I'm going to wipe it off. Okay. So this is the cup. The saucer completed. Let me switch to okay. So that is the code completed. So that is it completed.
So that was the cup and the saucer completed. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe for more of my tutorials.